Which I deserve to be here because I've been our whole thoughts of years. You f***ing rain drop behind our ass. You f***ing rain drop behind our ass. You f***ing rain drop behind our ass. All right. Purse. You're irresponsible. Are you and you're insane? Sending a bad message. Keep my f***ing kids out of your f***ing mouth. Shut your f***ing mouth. You f***ing mouth. You f***ing f***ing off. Nobody wants you no. here. No. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm very well aware. Is so, there any way to make it a little warmer? It is so cold, and she's, like, dying. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, I'm can we make it a little warmer in here? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Well, in the Housewives universe, we've seen scuffling sisters, clashing cousins, and a very controversial step-grandfather. But one of the most dramatic family dynamics we have seen was between Monica and her mom, Linda. Let's take a look at their rocky road this season. Don't say nasty things about me, like when you forgot to hang up on me on the phone the other day. You said, I hate your f***ing guts, you Bitch. <laughs> the only thing that I can count on with my mom is that there's nothing to count on with my mom. I don't know where I stand with you. You know what I mean? Hide what? Is a rumor? Behind your back. Hide I'm a the rumor? only one saying it to your face. Stop it. Tell her to stop it. Oh my gosh, that's not nice to talk to your mother like that. Is this funny to you? It is funny to me. Funny you really me. are a heartless person. And you can find your own red home. Dead ass. My mom and I, our relationship is so volatile. When I turned 12, my mom, she decided that she wanted to chase her dreams. So she dropped me off with a family in Pennsylvania and went and lived in New York. I'm not saying you're a bad mother. What I'm telling you is Easter at Angie's was reliving my abandonment as a child. I don't care. care. I don't you care. So sick. I don't, I'm so over I it. I know you don't care. Well, what, That's what, the let attitude. Let me talk, man. Did you just call me a f***er? Mother f called you a mother f***er. I'm gonna go meet up with my family today. I haven't seen them in 30 years. Oh, wow. It's been yeah. so That's a long, long time. Yeah. Even though my mom and I are not in a good place right now that she's able to help me meet up with my family in Bermuda, I am grateful for that. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Monica! Wait, what just happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> All right, uh, a lot to unpack there. It was so heartbreaking seeing that happen in Bermuda. Did you get to the bottom of what happened there? Was it your mom's involvement that caused your family to cancel on you? You know, this is still an unsolved mystery because uh, my mother and I are not speaking. Right. So... How long has it been since you haven't spoken? Since the filming wrapped. Since filming wrapped. Mm -hmm. And your family in Bermuda didn't give you a straight answer about why you no. couldn't come? So my mom had messaged production and before we all went to Bermuda and she said, I want to go. Okay. And production said, no. Right. <laughs> so she was very, very pissed. She felt like... I'm the one that should be there. The family remembers me more. She threw a huge fit. I was like, did she do this? Because she was mad that she didn't get to come. Right. So. Wow. And your dad left when you were four. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Do you hear from him? No. No? The last time my mom said she saw him was at our house. And he wanted us to move to Florida. Okay. And my mom was like, I'm not moving to Florida. I'm not leaving Boston. Apparently, he walked out the door and just, so, I don't know. And you haven't heard from him? No. And honestly, I, I don't even know if at this age I would want to meet him. Like, it's so weird. But I would like to know what he looks like, at least. So when you were 12, your mom left. Yeah. What career did your mom go pursue when she left you in Pennsylvania? Television. She got on TV. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about your mom tweeting about the show every week? She's retweeting kind of insults about you. Yeah. It's got to be rough. It's honestly worse than I could have imagined. Really? Yeah. I knew that filming was going to be hard. And I knew that you guys were going to see some shit because that is our relationship. But what right. my mom has done 
after online yeah. is like worse. Yeah. Lisa, I'm curious. You you went pretty hard on Monica and you two went at each other about her relationship with her mom, about her calling her mom Ted Bundy. My mom was very, very charming, and so was Ted Bundy. Maybe you're more like your mom than you think you are. Maybe you're the exact same person. Watching the show, did it make you rethink how you approached her about her mom? This is like a two-part question. Okay. So when I, what I observed on Easter was Monica's mom being lovely and charming, and I said that statement based off of what I saw, not yeah. off of history. I also said, I don't live in their house. I don't know what happens behind closed doors. You know, fast forward to like actually watching the show. I'm like, they definitely have a very tumultuous relationship. It's sad and it's really none of my business.